Hello, and welcome to video 6. Here we've got this basic mesh from uh, Z Spheres, and got the basic uh, shape by pulling the mesh around mostly. But you can see already that it's not symmetrical. And the back line is it's not even. It's not centered. And we've got a problem here with uh, one of the hands. So I'm going to send this mesh to 3D Max and correct it. I'm basically going to uh, half the mesh, copy it, and uh, make it a single mesh and bring it back into um, ZBrush. Okay, so with this model, this uh, skin set sphere active, I'm going to press Go Z. Okay. Here's a model, the right orientation and the right size. I find it very hard to work with a smoothed uh, model, so I'm going to get rid of the smoothing. Alright, that's better. F4 so I can see the loops. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is to give the model a center line. The center line is being interrupted regularly. So I'm going to hit vertexes and select vertexes and for the moment just connect them. So I've got a nice solid line. Look how far this is out. Connect. Got one here. Nice big five point pole as well, right in the middle of the forehead. Magnificent. <laughs> okay. Okay, most important part, we've got one single line that's running all the way around the model. So I'm going to activate polygons, front view, select, zoom in for some corrections to the selection, uh, control, add to selection. Alright, looks pretty good. Delete one half, and I know that this model is not in the center. So, I'm going to move it over, top level, move the model over, zoom in, right click on the move tool, and I can move with dialogue so I don't need to worry about using the axis gizmo. Alright, so I've moved my model over. I'm going to change the pivot. The pivot I'm going to move to 0 and the x-axis. Select tool, then ooh, effect pivot is off. Uh, going to hit border, select the border there, 
running through the middle of my model and activate flatten the X axis top level of the model symmetry Back to the border, move um, that to zero, top level, preview, and I've got a nice even line around a flat uh, center line. And now I can go around fixing the diamonds. And we got one here. And also, while I'm at it, I can put a few extra loops in here and there. I've sped up this part of the video so you don't have to see me decide where the new loops have to go. I'm trying to follow the form with geometry, but since the final topology will be done after the sculpt, we only have to have enough polys to support the sculpting process. I am making quads from all the polys and trying to make them as square as possible. I'm flipping in and out of smoothing because that's a great way to see if there are two vertexes overlapping or if there are n-gons or more than four-sided polys. With a low poly shape like this, NERM smooth is good enough and with isoline display on you can see the problem areas better.